Well, hello. Reb here. Rebecca. Just not Becky. All right, so today we're going to do a little bit of repotting. And we are going to check out some new pots that I ordered that I had never seen before. And I thought they looked very interesting and sounded kind of cool, but I'm really not sure how they're going to be. And I asked some of my other plant to be friends if they had ever heard of them or tried them and they had not. And we decided it might be a good thing to try and review on camera because maybe other people might be interested. So. I bought these on my own and you know they were not like recommended to me by anyone and I had never heard of them before so this is just purely me and you know as usual take my opinion for what it's worth it's not worth much but speaking of not worth much guess who got monetized yeah this girl and that's thanks to you guys for watching my videos and engaging with them. So I have to say thank you so much. Poppy wants to say hi. Hi. He's being very social. What are you doing? Hi. Oh, well, your breath smells like tuna. Okay, so let us get on with the show. Now, I added, asked on Instagram for a topic to talk about while I'm doing this because I couldn't think of anything because my brain is empty, completely empty. And I got two suggestions. The first one was from Pam. From Pammy's planty things and that was to talk about how awesome Pammy is <laughs> and that's easy so I'm gonna do that and then I got at the last minute a suggestion from Nikki from plants pots and whatnots in Canada hey and she suggested talking about how awesome Canada is and all of the people that live in Canada <laughs> I'm sensing a theme so I'm going to do that too. And then that got me thinking, I need to talk about how awesome all of the people have been supporting me through my little illness here. So I want to talk about that pretty much. So, all right, let's get at this. Um, repotting of a few things and checking out this new kind of pot and talking about how awesome everybody is. And we'll start with Pammy and then Nikki and then I'll move on. First I need to soothe my throat a little bit. Okay. First I ordered this one which I think is very pretty. Isn't that pretty? I got it on Amazon because you know I couldn't go anywhere. And I think in this one I'm going to put my new Philodendron Gigantum that I got from Houseplant Heather. It's been hanging out for a while getting acclimated and I think it's good to go. So I'm going to put that in there. And then this came on the same day as that pot. Um, I don't know where this box opens. Oh, there it is. Okay. 
Okay. Okay, so. The brand on these. Is wild packed and it is a set of three cork pots and saucers and the saucers are made of rice husk and the pots are made of bark from a cork oak tree so they're supposed to be environmentally friendly <laughs> it says they're indoor or outdoor and they're great for apartments. I don't know why they're only great for apartments, but they are especially great for apartments. All right, so cork is, I use a lot of cork in my reptile enclosures because it's awesome for holding up to like extreme humidity and um, it is lightweight. And cork is supposed to be very, environmentally friendly my question on the cork is how it's going to do with water retention because I don't know if it's going to be more like a ceramic pot or if it's going to be more like a terracotta pot I kind of feel like it would retain a lot of moisture but I don't know they do have drainage holes um, it's very smooth and it's flexible I mean you could break these if you wanted to and I could do a feat of strength demonstration of my extreme strength Although I'm feeling very weak yet, but I don't want to wreck my pots. Now these saucers, they're hard and more thin. Um, very cool. Now the website is www.wildpacked dot com dot a u so does that mean australia i think so right hmm. so you can check them out but i got them on amazon but they're really cool look oh but then it says made in china but they're made of rice husk so there's a lot of rice in china okay so these are those pots they're six inch pots although i think it was like five and a five and three quarters inch or something like that Ooh, look there's a bee that's my bee noise. Okay, I, I brought my glasses so I could read this. This one has bees on it. I'm reaching far. Just that one. Okay, so it says, Why cork? Cork is environmentally friendly, sustainable, and has a negative carbon footprint. Why bees? Why are there bees on it? Since 1947, the U.S. honeybee population has declined by 60%. Without bees, many of our flowers, fruits, and vegetables would not survive. It doesn't tell me why there's anything to do with bees yet. Oh, wait, maybe here. Why, why Wild Pact? By choosing Wild Pact, you are making an environmental impact. Oh. With each sale, we will donate to the Bee Pollination Partnership in the USA. There you go. Okay, cool. So they are very environmentally friendly as a company and as a cork product. Okay, there we go. Um, I don't know what I'm putting in those. Oh, crap. I thought I had this thought through. Okay, I know what I'll do. I have these cuttings for this Cissus quadrangularis. Mm. 
It was so far away. Um, and I had put him in sphagnum to see if that would help root him, but it's not. It's just rotting the ends. I should have just gone right to soil. So I'll put I'll put those in there. Okay. But first, let's repot my philodendron. I have already mixed up some soil and I'm in trouble because I'm almost out of soil and I've got more repotting to do that I had wanted to do while I was in quarantine. <coughs> it was right into the mic. And I had looked online to see if I could just order some soil through Amazon and it was all going to take a really long time to get here. And I usually get my soil at the hardware store that's like a half mile from here, but I can't go. So I'll probably have to wait until I get out of quarantine. All right, so my soil is pretty much like everybody's. I used, just because it's what I like, I use black gold organic potting soil. And then I use like a third, two thirds that, a third perlite, and then a little bit of orchid bark. But orchid bark annoys me. But I put it in there anyway, but not too much because it really annoys me. All right, I don't know what the roots look like yet. I'm going to empty this out in my other container. I'll be back. Houseplant Heather has this in kick-ass soil that looks to be very similar to mine, except maybe with some sand or something in it. So I am not disturbing these roots much, and they look amazing. I poked myself in the eye with the soil, not with the little stake I put in. Okay, I think I need a tiny bit more soil. All right, so let's talk about how awesome Pammy is first. So, not only does Pam do amazing things for the plant community, like she is the person who started the Planty Kindness Project back in the day, where she very selflessly um, started spreading kindness everywhere and supporting smaller channels and doing kind things for everyone in the plant community. But she, no matter what her day is looking like or what's going on in her life, she is always there to support everyone around her. She cares so much about everyone. People can treat her in an unkind manner, and yet she will slap them back in the face with kindness. I mean, if there was anyone who believed more in the phrase, kill him with kindness, it's Pam. She is more selfless than anyone I know. And not only is she kind, but she just has this innate warmth about her. She doesn't even have to try it just pours out of her and it's natural. It just, 
you can tell that it is real and true and it is n there's not anything about her kindness and her warmth that is forced or fake anyone who gets to know her knows that she is sincere a hundred percent sincere and in some people you can see that even if it's real and they really care about someone when they do something nice there's kind of still in there something that they're getting out of it but with Pam there just isn't she sacrifices for people she cares about and even people she doesn't know I've never known anyone quite as innately kind as Pam and she's also funny as hell and you don't get to see that too much on her channel but when you get to talk to her outside of her channel she's so funny I think that her kindness is so overwhelming and it comes through so strong that you don't get to see the humor behind it so she's amazing and she's willing to reach out to people with this like she's she's willing to reach out without fear of being shot down and it's not because she's this uber confident person who like thinks they're all that because that's not her she does it because she cares so much about the person and that's pretty rare most people even if they're thinking gosh I really feel bad for that person or I really want to make that person feel good there's still that fear there where they don't they don't reach out because they're scared or shy not Pam the kindness and that heart it overwhelms that and she just does it anyway to anyone and everyone she has people who are unkind to her daily but yet she gives out so much kindness to others and so much love and warmth to others that people have no idea that she gets people being unkind to her it's I've just never known anyone like her yeah she's amazing I, I've never known anyone like her yeah, never honestly I remember way back when I first watched was watching you know plant videos everyone talking about this Pam 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 and I watched her channel and I'm like who is this lady she's just some lady from Minnesota she looks like an everyday person from Minnesota why is everyone talking about her and then I started to see it and I was like is she for real yeah she's for real people and now she's been so supportive of me through being sick she messages me and texts me and FaceTimes me regularly and I truly feel like she is my sister like we call each other sister and I would have never expected this so there you have it this is why Pam from Pammy's Planty Things is one of the best people in the world not just the plant community the world and this is what my philodendron gigantum looks like in this gorgeous pot I'm gonna go wash off the leaves and give it a really good soak when we're done this was given to me 
in another act of insane kindness by houseplant Heather, another person in the plant community who's always doing amazing things for people. I showed my feelings about her when I unboxed this, and I'll say it again. She's another beautiful soul. Okay, moving on to, we bought a couple of small things. Actually, no, I'll do one of these first. Let's use the one with the bees. Okay, bees. Bzz, bzz. Uh, this is cuttings, and they're succulents, so I'm not going to water them at all for a little bit. One part of it had roots. Let's get this out of here. Okay, cutting. Okay, so Nikki from Plants, Pots, and Whatnots asked me about Canadians. Ooh, that one rotted way up. This was a bad idea. Okay. This has some roots. Yep, I rotted those. All right. Now, I love Canada. I need to watch my time because it's going to go turn off my camera soon. Taking this out of the moss. All right, well, this part that had really good roots, it actually started making some more roots. It didn't rot. Woo. Okay, so we're good there. Thank goodness. At least that piece. Although one piece is broken. Okay. So, Nikki, she was the one who took it upon herself to go crazy when I was doing plants for preemies and find all of those people in Canada to donate, oh, too much soil, to donate things to make a Plants for Preemies giveaway just for Canadians because I wasn't able to find anyone for any international giveaways. That right there shows how much she cares about people and doing good in the world. So I think you can see that she is another person with an amazing heart, an amazing soul, who I have ultimate respect for and love dearly. That kind of kindness is not seen much in the world. Everyone always talks about how Canadians are so nice and well, yeah, most of them sure are. I have been blessed with having a few friends in Canada and I have been blessed to go to Canada twice for um, vacations to visit friends and it's my my heaven on earth oh no dirt and perlite in my coffee and a fungus gnat hovering around but I really need a drink crunchy I'm gonna start I'm gonna stop and start my camera Kapam, bam. so I have two friends named Terry and Vess in Canada who were extremely kind and asked me to come to Canada two different times, um, two years apart, a few years back, using their 
frequent flyer miles. Um, they were gifts for my sobriety anniversaries a couple of years. And so I got to spend my sober dates there. And all we did both times were travel around and hike and kayak and explore, which is my favorite thing to do. So we just went all over the country. Um, the first time we spent everything in British Columbia and the second time most of it in Alberta. And it was incredible. So I was able to see a bunch of the country, the mountains, the forests, des you know, the more desert climates, the more, t more humid climates. It was incredible. Those two people are two of my favorite people on the, on the planet. Again, extreme kindness. Okay, so there, Nikki, you have why I think you are one of the most amazing people that I know and why I think Canada is my dream place and why, if I could, I would move there in a heartbeat. But number one, they wouldn't want me because I'd be a drain on the healthcare system. And number two, I can't because my ex-husband does not want to live there and I can't then move because of my daughters. So that's one reason. Did you hear Poppy? That's him snorting. Okay, let's move on to more kind people. Ugh, having to separate all these because I rotted the ends. Okay, so let's talk about Nicole from My Clean Leaves. So she has been another one who's blown me away with kindness through this little sick period. She has been another who's checked on me nonstop. She had a bunch of people She organized a bunch of people um, who wanted to help me because I didn't have groceries and things when I was suddenly quarantined and she got some donations and then she placed a grocery order for me and she checked in on me constantly, uh, texting and messaging, and has been amazing. She's funny, and her channel is always entertaining. I've watched her since I started watching plant YouTube channel or YouTube videos. She is willing to help people all of the time, no matter how busy she is, no matter what's going on in her life. Right now, she's not able to work because, you know, she's in a self, she's self-employed, yet she's helping people like me. And that's unbelievable. She's was out there helping organize this insane support for me and doing kind things for me when really she need is, needs it more than I do. I just couldn't believe that. I was shocked. I mean, who does that? Then, along those same lines, look at Rachel from Heart Shaped Leaves. She's out there doing fundraising for a couple of families 
who are struggling because of the same situation through her church and that again in just amazing kindness and with her channel she's always spreading love and laughter and beauty she's always sending people plants for no reason other than to brighten their days she's sharing knowledge she's sharing laughter she's sharing kindness just out of the goodness of her heart she's always willing to help out other youtubers or people who ask her questions always and then there's cody at the crazy plant man and the now the plant channel I bug him all the time with questions about my plants. And he puts up with me and my ridiculousness. And he is insanely busy. He's busy at home. He's busy with his business because he has his store, the planty place. He's got a huge greenhouse. And then he donated a war rock for plants for preemies. He didn't have to do that. He could have made a whole bunch of money off of that plant. You know that would have sold in a heartbeat. But just because he wanted to help, and I didn't even ask him for a donation. He asked me if he could help. That right there is a beautiful soul. And then there are all of these amazing people on Instagram subscribers, people who follow me on Instagram, who've been reaching out constantly with just messages of support and people checking on me, asking if I need anything or just to let them know if I need anything, if I need to talk, constantly. For no reason, they don't know me in person. So what I'm saying is that the world is just full of kindness, and this community is beautiful, full of beautiful people, and right now, that's what the world needs more than ever before, but what we need to really learn, and what Pam from Pammy's Planty Things is thinking about, or is always talking about and trying to teach us, and has been for months and months and months and months and months with the Planty Kindness Project. It's exactly what now we can really see is that we have to be kind to each other because there's times like this where we're gonna need that kindness back. And if we're not kind to each other, who's gonna wanna be kind to us? And this list is not by any means a full list because Pam from Pam's Pretty Plants and it's Pamela, she's been a godsend to me. I've been able to vent to her, I've been able to cry to her, I've been able to laugh with her. She's been like everything I need all wrapped up into one. Long before I was sick, while I'm sick, she will be. She's amazing. So many people. I have people in my life who, in real life, who are just snippy and snotty and say I'm just a little under the weather and act like I'm being a baby. But then I have people like Dylan and Sue, who are plant friends here in real life, who are incredible support systems. So, yeah. So there, I repotted the philodendron. I put my 
Cissus quadrangularis, oh God, cuttings in the cork planter. I'm not going to water them because they are just cuttings. So I hope that this will work out. I will let you know how these cork planters are doing. When I think of what else I'm going to put in here, in another one that's just a regular plant, not a succulent, I will let you know how that goes. And I think that'll do it for right now. Actually, I know what I'm going to put in there, but I'm not going to do it on camera because I've already gone on and on and on. I have this Cuban oregano that I have had. It was a cutting from that Fransu I just mentioned. It was a tiny little cutting. It's such a cool plant. It's a succulent, but it's got the softest, fuzziest leaves. They feel like the softest teddy bear you could ever imagine. And it's ready to get potted up in a bigger pot. I'm going to put that in there. But I water it less like a succulent and more like a regular plant. Okay. I have rambled for a really long time. But I think the message is important. To love one another and be kind to one another. And when someone is kind to you, make sure or you think there's something good about a person, tell them because people need to hear it. I love all of you. Thank you for being the amazing people you are. And you guys have a fantastic day. Stay safe.